so this is gonna be a thing. Hey guys in here, welcome back to another video, and today marks the episode one of the Cactus Evergreen Survival Challenge. <laughs> Cactus you Evergreen. Think of a new game. <laughs> I do, but for now it is called Cactus Evergreen. <laughs> you might just keep it like that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the point of this challenge is you'll see in a second. So I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna look at this book and this lectern. We're not allowed to take any of this stuff because I built it in creative mode, and I'm smart and I put barriers around that, so don't even try. All right. So welcome to the Cactus Evergreen, unless we decide on a better name. So we're just gonna go over the basic ideas. Of this. So we're just gonna be battling out the bases who can make who can construct a better base okay so i haven't actually seen anything like this before so that's why i'm doing it if you uh enjoy this be sure to leave a like and subscribe we're gonna go down to that building over there where my cursor is go down to that building we're gonna choose the theme of our base and we have to build our base with that and there'll be more rules about that thing over there later and then we're gonna be scored upon three things aesthetics functionality and how many diamonds we have well it's just gonna be diamonds because you can farm basically everything else so and we could like share farms we're allowed to share farms like if i make an iron farm early on i'm gonna share it with you probably so aesthetic means, you know, just how the build looks. Does it look awesome? Functionality is how many farms do you have? How well is it like, e how easy it is to travel around? Aesthetics also includes like the layout and like uh, order. We have like a little scoring rubric, which is basically aesthetics is out of 100, functionality out of 100, richness is out of 25. So basically like your diamond count is just a tiebreaker. Basically, if one of us wins to richness, that's going to be really funny. That's, it's just meant to be like really funny. So it's not really that important, but or you know. Or it just be a really big overkill. <laughs> yeah. And then we have server rules. So we can't grief from each other. We can't grief each other. We can't steal. Uh, once you've decided a public farm is public. So if I make an iron farm and say that it's public, like you and I can both access it. I cannot switch it. Okay. I can't switch it to private ownership. Uh, you control, we control each other as long as it's harmless so if you want to build pickle rick on my build or um, on top of my base i'll let you do that as long as it doesn't harm anything and uh you could hide a little surprise in it or something as long as it's fine and doesn't actually harm anything so no afk trapping we're not going to do that because afk is like i mean we're still playing survival it's not just purely like trying to kill each other and then uh if we break anything rule any of the rules it's negative 10 points off of your score per violation one thing i left out is that you can't build anything inappropriate so no pps no bots no no bad things okay no bad words no nothing okay can't say anything like that no no implied badness okay so cactus gaming at the time i'm record or editing this episode he actually did that but that's fine because i fixed it and i let him off with that warning so no inappropriate stuff all right because monetization and we must meet up at least once per episode because you know it's not solo survival i mean it's like solo but it's not it's survival challenge so we gotta make sure we don't forget that okay i basically said we made it through the book and we have a pro tip next page cactus listen up because this is very important i recommend building a marketplace you see the planes to the left of me like if you look at me and look to my left you see it planes over there I recommend building a marketplace over there so that way we can like share resources for diamonds and stuff so basically we can sell resources and get more diamonds so that can help with our richness scores and uh if you get you know let's say you're selling blocks that could really help with aesthetic 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 or functionality scores so that's that and uh let's head down here now and i'm gonna switch everything there's no daylight cycle there's no mobs right now like we're just so no this is all barriers so you can't get through here so you can only go through here so let me read this too so welcome to cactus Ever okay this is the theme picker so by the press of the button which is at my left foot um you can we'll choose our theme for our base but we're gonna have some rules against it so press the button do not open the door you look stupid put the paper back into the dispenser once your base theme has been decided you may not take any blocks from this build cheater uh if both you and i decide against someone's theme so let's say you were to get fantasy theme we that's not in there but because i decided that's dumb but um if we both said okay that doesn't sound epic and we feel like you could do better with something else uh we'll let you choose again but if you get the same thing again you have to use it so let's say you get um water base or something let's say you get like underground and you don't like it and then you put it back and you get underground again you have to do it there's it was just one rebuttal so rule number five opening the door is not allowed because then you can just randomly pick out your theme for yourself and that's no fun because we're being unique and uh if both members do the same theme you cannot combine your bases into one so that's basically saying like even if we get this 
we have to still keep it a challenge. It's still gonna be like separate bases challenge. And we're gonna keep our bases like 500 blocks apart to give each other room at least. We can go like 1200, we could go like 10,000 blocks apart, but it, it's just whatever. I don't know why I said put it back into the lectern because it's in the lectern right now. Uh, let the fun begin. So, Cactus. This last part is a lie. I know. You are not, you're not even close to him, so. Oh yeah, I know. No, I, I was tired. All right, so I'll let you choose the theme first. So just press the button uh, all right. and tell me what you get. Right. It's in it's in your hands, paper. Oh, there we go. Ooh. What'd you get? Ooh, underground. Underground. All right. Ooh. You feel like you're good about that? Because I feel like you're pretty. I always build underground bases. All right. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna clarify one thing, guys. We don't have to start our bases for episode one. Episode the first few episodes, I'm just gonna say we should just like try to gather resources and stuff and like make a starter base, then we can go make our actual base. So I'm gonna say grace period is five episodes. Episode six, we should start actually constructing our base. All right? Yeah, I know. I'm just saying you don't have to. You don't have to. All right, my turn. Oh no. What'd you get? <laughs> I mean, it looks the coolest in my opinion by Hermitcraft season five for Mumbo, but I don't want to. It's a water base. I got water. Do that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm putting it back in though. If I get this, if I get it again, I have to choose water. Oh God. I'm choosing this. I got giant Minecraft. <laughs> All right. So do you know what that means? <laughs> Not really. But... All right. So let's say I want to build a super smelter. I have to encase it in a giant furnace. If I build a storage <laughs> storage system. Gotta be in a giant chest. Oh no! That means I can't have. Oh, I can't have an automatic storage system now because it has to be. Oh. Oh yes, I can. I can choose. Well, I can do storage systems for farms, but like general storage. Yeah, would, but that's, hmm. yeah, but that's gonna. Ooh. I mean, I think you could probably try and work the rest of them around it, but I think that'll be too. Ooh. Giant double chest. Oh wait, giant double chest. Well, that's it. That's the theme picker. We have our themes. So Cactus, now here's the thing. I think for episode one, we should just stay in the same call, but then later episodes, we could just like branch off, do our own thing, and then just meet up again later. So let's head back up here. Now you can read these signs that were here for you. I left some signs up here. So I was floating up, floating in the chunks in creative because I had to build this somehow, because as you can tell, <clears throat> there's no dark oak or spruce anywhere around here. And uh, so read these signs oh, for you. Yeah, that's gonna So I get the free village over there. You get the free village over there since I saw it and yeah. Oh, so you messed up. <laughs> what do you mean? I it, I have an idea now. <laughs> what was your theme again? Underground. I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, cool. So Those um very useful now. So uh marketplace, we could put that over there, I'm guessing. Just to like yeah, Alright. Maybe the marketplace and all public farms should go in this area. Yeah, in this plane spawn because it's at spawn. All right, so keep your paper on you. Don't let it go away until you're gonna remember it. Um, and let's just get started. I can't believe I got a giant Minecraft. Wait, wait, you wanna go back and look at all the other themes? I had some fun ones. We had uh, futuristic slash modern, medieval slash rustic, jungle trees. So basically you had to find a jungle and then you just build <laughs> giant jungle trees and have like oh, storage system in one. Yeah, it would have been cool. Water base, sky base. Ooh, a city and then the last one was your choice so that would have been if i got your choice i could open this door and choose whatever i wanted okay yeah all right i would have called this rigged if you somehow got that <laughs> <laughs> we should probably uh make sure we have a good starter base because we each have good starter bases because uh you know the sun the sun goes down that's when they get started yeah we could just hang out on the same base no, this is separate. I think you could really make your underground base look awesome. I could. It's just gonna take a lot of work. I'm just trying to think about how I'm gonna do giant Minecraft. So how, how many episodes do you wanna go to? Or should it be up to the fans to decide that? I think the fans should decide how long it is. Right now my plan is just like, go until I see um, a decline in interest and then we'll just end it off whenever. 
I'm just gonna say 100 episodes, which isn't gonna be bad. It's just like, that's just too much. See, I would have done water base. I'm telling you that I would have done water base, but I remember Nightwing SMP. Oh yeah, that was dude. taking like so long. Dude, remember, do you remember watching that episode? Did you ever watch oh, that episode? I yeah, I watched that episode. That was a process. That took so long. I remember I spent so much time on that series. There's so many bees over here. I don't know if I'm actually going to test this stuff, because really, it's just going to be gathering resources and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's going to be, like... I feel like a lot of this is just going to be cut out. So, trying to, you know, think of things. What I did with Nightwing is I split up the episodes into, like, a bunch of parts. So I wouldn't have, like, really long recordings of nothing. But then it would get to the point where I have, like, 15 parts in an episode. And each part was, like, 10, 15, 30 minutes. Yo, guys, if you also want us to try and bring back Nightwing in the future, let us know. It might be over the summer, though. Yeah. Not, like, everyone's able to. Well, at this point in time, it's going to turn into summer here <laughs> with coronavirus. Yeah. Um, but... If you, guys want, if you guys want to hear my rant about the coronavirus, it's on my channel right the, now. The cor I'm a corona. Should the score for diamonds... Like, make... Maybe we should just make that valuable area. Because, what do you mean? Like enchants and stuff. What? <laughs> like use high. Like we can also put an enchant into play. Like how good are your enchants? No, I'm talking about pure diamonds. Diamonds and diamonds only. Diamonds, just diamonds, because diamonds make diamond armor, diamond tools, and enchantment tables. You see what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna make some more stairs. I need to make a stone cutter. That'd be nice. Oh, I found lava. Well, this is just a lava pit. This is, doesn't even have any use to it, so that's fun. So I'm just gonna keep going this way. I feel like I'm getting a really bad start. <laughs> I have like a really bad start. Wait, I just thought of a prank I can do on you. You mean a troll. A yeah. harmless troll with no detrimental effects. Well, it might slow you down a bit, but that's about it. That's sabotage. <laughs> that's not sabotage. <laughs> That is super that's, that's just playing smart. <laughs> that's not playing smart. That's not the rule. Doot. 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 Alright guys, so I am back and I just made it down to Y equals 11. So now, time to strip mine. I also got more iron lapis and I got some coal. Oh, this man is trying to get diamonds immediately. Oh yeah, dude. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get things going, man. We have five episodes to like not start our bases and I want to start our... Oh, I got diamond! <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> like seriously? No. Hold on. After I started talking, I mined like five blocks and I got diamonds. I got six diamonds straight off the bat. Let's go, oh, dude. No. That is okay. If I can get, if I can find obsidian, I can get an enchantment table. Also, um, I found redstone just now. I'm gonna try to make an automated storage system, but I'm gonna make it like make sense in a way. If that makes any sense. With every so for the reason the um village is going underground, you've got to ha make sure there's an actual reason for it. Mm -hmm. I've got a plan. <laughs> I don't. Oh my gosh, cactus! What? I found more diamonds. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh! It's an eight vein. Oh no, it's not. It's a six vein. It lied to me. Well, I have a total of twelve diamonds, or really nine, because diamond pickaxe. Why does your diamond look so good? What? Why is your diamond luck so good? It's not. That's the scary thing. Like, I've never had good diamond luck. Okay. Well, I have nine diamonds now. Whenever I get diamonds, I'm just running back. How does that make sense? I don't even know the seed. You never even know. It's a, ra it's a randomly generated seed, and I didn't do slash seed. Also, randomly generated. Like, how would that even help? Actually, I could... I guess it... No, I was, you know what? I was too busy doing all the setup stuff. Okay, I wanted to either get futuristic city or, actually I wanted to get like futuristic or medieval. I was really hoping for that or sky base. So I could just build like, I don't know, a drone. I could have probably preferred maybe like a sky base because I probably would have made like an entire UFO up there. Yeah, that would have been really cool. But hey, if you guys do enjoy this challenge, we can always make multiple seasons of it. Of course, because Different... I'm having a lot of fun. Now, here's the thing. I have an idea. Oh, God. What if, instead of, you know, waiting and, you know, buying another server plan, what if we kept it all in the same world, but we couldn't use any of this stuff? Mm, actually, you know what? Hold on. I just decided against that because I just thought about something. Trying to gather resources early game when you've already cleared out a bunch of areas. You have to just tra travel. And eventually, we'll get to a point where we can't travel much anymore.
I'm only gonna have one server active at a time, but I still have like all the stuff. So it's not like it's gonna go away. Like I still have the server. I still have the Nightwing server, but um, I just don't have it active right now. I am paying $20 a month for this server. So let's yeah, make the most get, of it. Yeah, yeah but, I get, but you like get, depending on how much videos you edit, you basically get, you're pretty much like earning like maybe close to $100. A month? Yeah, but that's mainly just because you know like, I don't need you for most videos. Now. <laughs> well, yeah, so that means uh, my editing job is paying for our server. <laughs> I found the shortest cave ever, and I got one skeleton out of it. I'm gonna just keep mining, and uh, you know what I should do? What? Time lapse chat. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, welcome to the first time lapse chat of this series. So in this time lapse chat, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the series because I feel like I didn't do the best explanation, and I want to explain why this series is unique and why you should keep watching it and don't treat it like another nightwing one cactus and i are both gonna be active and making episodes okay we're gonna be pretty much in line with each other we're gonna upload on the same day we're gonna do the same amount of episodes so it's really like we're really gonna be in line together so there's not gonna be like a huge time gap between each episode and we're only gonna be uploading once a week uh and if we've decided that's gonna be thursdays and that'll allow us to make our usual content on the other days of the week. So it's not like this series is gonna take over everything. Also, Cactus and I work well together, so I feel like we're gonna make an amazing series. And this is technically like a solo survival on a server. So it's just server survival, kind of just Hermitcraft kind of, but just two of us and we're just gonna battle, battle it out. So I'm really excited for it. And uh, we're obviously still, you know, we're gonna be friendly to each other. So if we die or lose something, you know, we're gonna help each other out. It's like we're in this together, even though we're not. It's meant to be lighthearted and fun. So that's really all I want to say about that. Let's get right back into the video. All right, guys, that's gonna be that for that little time lapse. It was really short, but um, now we're outside. I have full diamond, or full diamond, full iron armor. I'm gonna make myself an iron sword. That might be good. I'm gonna get myself a water bucket. I'm gonna get myself some blocks too, just in case. All right, time to go conquer the pillager tower thing here we go guys ultimate showdown but not quite it's episode one showdown oh my gosh i got one chest of loot yeah hey. <laughs> wow that was so hard i only had to kill three of them because oh, wow. they all went away oh no another crossbow man you didn't even look at me cheater <laughs> i'm calling it hacks on the pillager well, there's nothing for me here. I got like a little bit of stuff, but not quite. I got a potato and a bottle of enchanting. Sorry, I got five potatoes. Stop chasing me. This pillager is chasing me. He wants to give you your pledge. He's shooting me with a crossbow. I got the crossbow. Oh, wow. I got the crossbow. That's awesome. Is there any way to craft the crossbows? Yeah, you can craft crossbows. They're pretty cool because you can just like hold an arrow on them, but... I still prefer bows. All right. Well, I, mean, I think we're at a point in time in this recording that we could probably just take a break for tonight. Over here, we've got so much progress done already. Yeah, I'm gonna say, guys, this is about, this is gonna be the end of episode one of uh, Cactus Evergreen. <laughs> I hate you for saying this name, but honestly, I think it might just might as well just stick. <laughs> <laughs> Choose a better name. For right now, it's Cactus Evergreen. But if you guys, oh gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, Coronavirus. <laughs> If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the notification bell, join my Discord server, links in the description and the pinned comment. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ingrid Ninja. But guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in episode two.